What's this 450? Oh, oh hit. I was looking at the That's the other me. Is he, like, pooping out those? Or, like, why does he have that facial nope. expression? Knowing this game. Was into the first in little space. Uh, your mom. Your mom. I was right. Oh, you chose, chose your mom? He thought that it was what this game was going to do. This isn't a reform gym. It's like it, and that's sad. <laughs> Why? The story of Mondo. Before they started sending animals into space and people into space consistently, they didn't know that there was no oxygen in space. Well, that's not fair. But I'm just saying, saying it's, it's a sad story. But they, they sent a doggo into space and it didn't have oxygen. And I think it might have also been in the house. Which honestly is only a pretty quick way to go. But that doesn't make like it not sad. One, One can hope, hope it was not slow, slow but... I, I, I hope it was. No, yes, yes, not slow. Brain. Lord Irish. Oh, is that a reference to Lord British? It could be, I guess. Really special. I checked. No mate. Yeah. People like oh, me are... need to see their love. At least twice a week. Minimum. Uh oh. What? It switched microphones. To the Xbox controller? Alright, is it better, Dark? This is why we need to wear extra pants when I'm on stream. Oh, and who else said hi earlier? Appamass? I'm sorry, I didn't see that earlier. We were too busy talking about something. There's... it's still the same? Technology is happening. I see no reason why it should be echoing. Alright, does it sound better now? Oh wait, bucket! <laughs> bucket! Yay!
apparently on that scene that I had set up, I turned on an audio device, and so it was playing it on that other window, and I didn't see that that was going on. There must be another person somewhere, or a thing that looks like a person that has a bomb attached to it or something. That would be very much like this I game. mean, it's not there must be, but there certainly could be. Bouncy bullets. Are you able to zoom out all the way? Nope. Oh, That's okay. all. <laughs> Hashtag blame scene. Well, I'm alone. Now. Oh, you had to kill all the guys who were nearby. That's dumb. And he just oh, he just chooses no to explode. Goodbye, it says. That's a cheap death. Yeah, just but wouldn't you also say all the other ones were unnecessarily expensive? Yes. Which I'd say is preferable. It's what the game's going for. So why are we killing everyone again? You can actually read stuff on the index page. Mm -hmm. I know. You'll have to show him some of them. Caution, objects in space are bigger than they appear. We've had complaints, but we don't care. Uh, Autotron Systems Limited thought a uh, femininely styled mechanobot <laughs> would make the female inhabitants of hell feel more comfortable. But an unexpected bug made the SR2 a total bitch. <laughs> oh, you've captured them? Yeah. Alright. Uh, he'd wanted to be one of the ones with the plunger or the grabbing arm, but no, they had to give him the laser blaster. You can't open a pickle jar with a laser blaster, <laughs> can you? <laughs> After 30 years getting squished on that goddamned highway by oh. total jerks and trucks, Colin finally decided he was going wasn't going to take it anymore. It wasn't like he could swim away anyway, so what the hell? Oh, he's it's Frogger. And then what were the other ones? He didn't Pokemon. see this one yet either. Because he just um, killed him. If you're wondering why this guy looks so fed up, it's because he bites himself in his bottom eye every time he has dinner. Which really sucks. The name was a total coincidence, incidentally. <laughs> <laughs> um, some parts of the dark side are still uncharted. The major here wandered off into one and something bad happened. We're not quite sure how he was still moving around. Burr. Uh, due to budget cutbacks, later NASA missions were ad-sponsored mainly by gambling and porn companies. Nobody was happy about it, but that's the future for you. <laughs> Hassan's on board, right? Was the last phrase he heard before Apollo 97 la lander took off. He spent years drawing huge SOS signals, but the mission had been to the dark side and nobody saw it. Ouch. Osvaldo got to hell through a newspaper competition. <laughs> it had actually been intended as an April Fool's joke, but a legal error in the small print meant they had to strangle him on the spot. What? <laughs> Nobody ever tried sticking a flower in this quick-tempered grump. Nobody who ever tried oh. sticking a flower in this quick-tempered grump ever made the same mistake twice. I don't get that one. One of three says, "One of three heads is a sensitive poet, praised for its thought-provoking reflections on nature of war." But you didn't even ask, did you? All those damn dirty snakes are the same to you, racist. <laughs> <laughs> One of the few advantages of looking like a ten-ton wrecking ball covered in spikes is that you get a really striking passport photo. <laughs> Despite the image he likes to put out, Sexton wasn't a card sharp at all. His money came from his trust fund set up by his parents, who ran a company selling knitted jumpers with kittens on them. <laughs> Poor innocent Aza was the president of Ash's ah! fan club, Hell Branch. 
He was beside himself with excitement the day your pictures appeared on the Helternet. Probably best off dead. Oh, I see you trying to present, protect your dignity by killing people who've seen compromising pictures. Yeah, that's yeah. what the story is. That's yeah. right. Back home, Brooks was the manager of a department store. A proper old school type where the customer was always right. So when one said going down on the ground floor elevator, he had to. <laughs> Tyson had to keep running backwards and forwards all the time because his tiny legs wouldn't support his weight if he stood still for even a second. They don't call it hell for nothing, you know. <laughs> This was one of our favorite monsters. Just take a look at him. He's magnificent. Magnificent. But to you, he was just another piece of meat. To be slaughtered with barely a thought. Have you no respect for art? If you think you have a tough life, try being a 26th generation Megagorgon born to a fairground family who run the Hall of Mirrors. Then we'll see who ends up a little bit paranoid and twitchy. Just... Stupid. <laughs> oh, we're, Zeus. We're pretty sure this isn't actually God, so don't <laughs> feel too bad about having killed him. Except insofar as he'd want you to, of course. Killing things is wrong. Sometimes. A fully paid up member of the 1% Club, Marcel enjoyed a life of ostentatious luxury. He made his fortune in the nutcracking industry, and the likes to keep his hand in. Um, in his life before hell, Truman was a deadbeat dad. His punishment was to be oh, given that. sole custody of 269 <laughs> eggs. He did a surprisingly good job, but now they're all orphans. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Everyone who saw Elwood immediately wanted to rush up to him, or rush up and give him a great big hug, which is an inev invaluable boon for his work with children's charities as well as his career as a mafia assassin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. Melisent was a pretty hopeless knight. He tried to rescue a grand total of 213 princesses, but 212 of them were either killed or already rescued before he got there. Sheba was the last chance ever. But due to... Oh, wait, you gotta read the other one next to it first. This is the one next to it. The other way. The other... That way. Yeah. Next one that way. Yeah. Garland and his twin brother Tyrell couldn't stand each other, so their parents gave Tyrell away for adoption. They enjoyed the peace and quiet and such. They had Garland adopted, too. <laughs> but due to an administrative mix-up, the same family adopted both brothers. When the authorities tried to send one back next day, their parents had moved house. No forwarding address. <laughs> Fluffy has a pedigree of failure. In some ways... Well, that's all it says? <laughs> yeah. In some ways, Princess Sheba was a prisoner of circumstance like the rest of us. In other ways, she was a stupid, useless, parasitic blight of society, and we're glad you killed her. Formerly the supervisor in a sweatshop, where small children worked 20-hour days making toys, she saved all their wages until they were allowed to leave at 16, or died in a suspicious accident. Groink. One, uh, uh, number, 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 security, some, 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 loco, some, 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 kill, some, 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 booze. <laughs> what? Clayton was that snake that lived in your phone. What? From, like, the game Snake, I think. Well, <laughs> Clayton was that snake that lived in your phone. <laughs> in rare moments, when you weren't forcing him to eat, he stole tiny components and made himself armor. That's why your phone never worked. <laughs> like that one. I never played Snake, really. Sheldon never made the breakthrough into the video game big time. After numerous supporting roles in go-kart titles, he was just happy to get a job where he could smoke and drink. These guys always look miserable. You'd think anyone who had a whole island to themselves would be pretty chuffed about it. But no. We bet all their yachts are the wrong color, too. Poor babies. <laughs> It takes a certain special kind of creature to make their home slap in the middle of 
about 20 huge screaming buzzsaws. <laughs> we wonder if you tune out the noise after a while or if you just go insane.